What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This video, we are going to be going over some DMX light shows. As you can see behind me, I have my trussing and they are my focus spot 4Zs. Actually take a closer look. These are the ADJ focus spot 4Z pearls, the white ones. I just got four of them in and we are going to be programming some DMX uh, scenes and shows for these fixtures and a couple other pieces of equipment that I have right now. These are my ADJ Element Hex Pearls. This is my ADJ UB6H Light. Of course, we got the TV booth just set up here. We're in my lovely garage where I have all my equipment. We're running all this stuff off these little wireless receivers. If you don't know what these are, these are wireless donors. So those connect the Wi-Fi signal over to my Airstream DMX bridge, which will be connecting everything to my iPad, which this is what we're gonna make scenes and shows off of. Um, here, this is what this looks like. This is my Airstream bridge. This is the wireless donor piece right here on the end. This is what's sending a signal to all those wireless pieces. And the main receiver here is what's sending a Wi-Fi signal to the iPad right there. So, I haven't really planned out any scenes or shows, so what I'm gonna do is record the screen of my iPad, and then I'm gonna try and make some shows, because I have some ideas in my head, but once I'm done making them, then I will show you what I did and how I made them. So, stay tuned to check this out. Okay, right, real quick before we get started, I want to show you something with our DMX controls. As you can see, all of our 4Zs are on a DMX channel, right? They're all on the DMX channel. But since my front two, this one and this one are brand new, they, as you can see, my back two lights are what we call inverse tilt, or inverse pan. These ones are gonna go opposite of each other. Like how these ones are, these are, this is shining this way, and this one's shining off to the left as well. So I have to invert the pan to get the same effect that these ones are doing. Like you can see these ones are kind of both pointing in the middle. This one is pointing down to the left and this one is pointing down to the left. And I want this one to be pointing into the right. So what we do to fix that, and this is just how they come stock. So I changed this on my own. So I have to go to this mode. I want to go to function. Status, and then this lets me pan reverse, tilt reverse, pan degree. I just want to go pan reverse. And this is what light's gonna do. And actually, you have to click. It shows you here if this will focus. There you go. Pan off. And when I go pan on, now I got it pointing into the left, or the right, I should say. As you can see, when I adjust the pan here, the lights will move opposite and cross each other's path, instead of going the same way. So there you go, that's a fun little trick. You can do this in DMX mode and just put them all on individual channels. 
and then just set them individually where you want, which we're actually gonna do. But just if in case for scenes, if I want um, to put them aligned in the center of the room so I don't have to do both of them individually, we can do that. The only place where you're gonna run into problems is if the center, if, if your DJ booth or these pillars are not exactly in the center uh, of where the dance floor is or wherever that spot is that you want them to go and it's a little cockeyed off of the side, you will have to individually take each light and point them at the spot and save that scene. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with some of these lights. I'm gonna make some scenes and some shows and then I'll show you what I did and how I made them and hopefully it turns out cool. Check this out. All right guys, we came up with our first little scene. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go into our iPad and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So first off, I selected all four of my focus spots and I labeled, labeled them accordingly so I know which ones are up top, which ones are in the front and which side that they are on. That's very important when labeling this. Let's scoot this back. As you can see, they're changing colors. I don't want to reset their values because I just set them. So we're going to go in to the iPad here. I have all four of them selected. When I go into my channel mode, I have my top two different than the, than the bottom two. So we'll go to the top two first. And when I click on channel mode, this is what I have them doing. Uh, the tilt and pan have uh, values because I'm setting an effect. If you can see in the bottom bar there, we have fixtures, channels, effects. If I, I'm gonna click on the effects button here shortly and show you what I have them doing, but just so you know that that's why the numbers are there and they're grayed out because I don't, I'm actually controlling them, the effect is controlling them. Next, the color at 209, what this is doing is just rotating through the color. So as I'm changing this up, when we get to 209, up in this range, it, it, it scrolls through the colors. And we're looking at the back two fixtures. So let me just turn these off. Actually, I'll keep that at 209. But let me turn 141. So we're looking at the back two. I turn the front two off. Let's go to them. So the colors are just changing through, rotating through. The shutter and dimmer, this just turns the light on and off. So shutter on, dimmer on. Now I'm going to be getting light coming out of there. I have the prism on, which what this does, it makes the beam go into multiple beams. You'll see this as it goes around the room. This prism one, it's a circular prism. And then the effect that I'm doing is this little circle, right? And then the important thing about this, as you can see, they're kind of off sync. So what's happening here, if you look at the iPad screen, the, the speed has a value and then what's called phase. Phase is what's making these go a little out of sync, adds a nice little cool effect. So I can increase and decrease these values and it adds a little, it's not as, what should I say, uh, repetitive. It adds a little flavor to the light show. So that's what I have the back two doing. If I go back to fixtures and we click on the front two, and I go to channels, right? They still have values. The color is at 210. Let me turn off the back ones. Front two. I'm gonna turn the shutter dimmer up. So right, we got the colors. They're changing. Shutter dimmer on and then I have the prism on. And now if I look, if you look up here, this is prism two and I have it rotating. You can see these two values here. So this puts it in a linear pattern. That's regular, prism on, it's gonna put it in this linear pattern. 
as it goes around. And this one, I actually had it going on and off. I believe it was like 150. So that's kind of stroby. I just want like a slow fade. That, that clicks on and off. So. That's what the front ones are. So now when I put them all together with the effect on, this is what it looks like. And then if you look down below, our element hexes here and our UB on the side there, they're just the same color. So what I would do here is I would keep this as the scene and then you would I'm gonna save this scene and then I'm gonna make another scene exactly the same but change the colors of the up lights so then this way I can make like five scenes with each different color up lights with my top lights doing the same thing so then when I go to make a show all this is is a sequence of scenes. So I can do scene one, scene two, scene three in repetition right after each other to create a show. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right guys, I have all the lights off here behind me. If we look at the iPad screen right now, you can see I'm on my page eight and I have five what are called scenes. So each scene is gonna have a different effect. Like I was saying, all I did was change the up lights. So if I hit this first one purple, my up lights are gonna be purple and then our fixtures are gonna be doing what I just showed you what I uh, programmed them to do. So I'm gonna turn that back off. We're gonna go to our bottom tab here that says shows. I have some shows here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one in show number 22. I wanna, maybe we'll do 18. We'll just do 18. Um, so let's go here, go to top left, edit. We are going to, yes, we're going to edit. I'm going to go to my page here and go down to page eight and I'm going to input each one of these in. All right, so now I have all of them in. And you can see on the second column, it says hold time for five seconds. So I'm just gonna save this and I'll show you what this looks like, right? I said I wanna do number 18. I'm gonna call this the same thing I called it before, four circle. So that I know when I bring out four moving heads and this is gonna move the moving heads in a circle. So I'm gonna save that. If I go back to my show, you can see I have my four circles and what's gonna happen here. Mainly look at our bottom, our up lights are what are gonna mainly be changing. I have the rotating heads going in their program pattern and then the, the up lights are changing but they're changing very slow, which I'm gonna change this. They're changing at that five second interval. So I'm gonna go back in, turn this off, go back into my app, go edit. You can load, I'm gonna load number 18, and I'm gonna change this, this to one second. So now it'll go through this, the colors very quickly show you what that looks like. So save right there, overwrite, overwrite, go. And now when I go back to it, you can see our up lights are changing. It's actually hard to see. If you look at the ceiling, we have our up lights rotating. We have our ceiling, our up lights changing, our lights rotating. And now how cool is that? So now I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna mess with this. I just wanted to make a quick video and show you how to make scene and how to make a show. So now, 
cool thing about this is literally, I have my iPad, I'm at the show, I just click a button. No party, party starts. So I will go and make programmed dancing effects, dancing light shows for all of our events so that all I have to do is bring my iPad, connect, set everything up, and now we got a party. If you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see more with this, let me know down in the, in the, the comment section. If there's anything else you want me to do videos on, please leave that down in the comment section as well. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. See you soon.